What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video, which is actually the first video in about three weeks on the channel. The last one was the compound being taken down. We're out for a little ride and I'm also going to be explaining to you guys why I haven't uploaded for almost a month. The last video that I uploaded to my channel was the Tom Pound, which was my compound, my private jump spot being crushed, destroyed. And along with that, childhood dreams just smashed into a million little pieces but that is in the past quite a few people messaged me asking the last video uploaded was really sad and you've now not uploaded for a few weeks are you okay if you're one of those people thanks for checking in on us but we're all absolutely fine nothing bad has happened we have basically just come off the back of a really really busy summer and that and summer was concluded with a high bike trip where we went from Land's End to, to John O'Groats and I decided with that project that I wanted to take on the editing. Basically for the last few weeks we've just been planning things for next year and working on this project which I can't share that project with you just yet. There's going to be a behind the scenes on this channel and the main video will go out on the high bike channel but I am so excited to share that with you because this has been something I've put so much time and effort into and I'm so proud of how it's turned out and kind of working in a different direction taking on a whole project not just the riding but the filming and editing is something I've never done before to that scale and it's been such a busy process but super super enjoyable we've also just been busy doing life sorting out brands and deals for next year and what's happening there sorting out we're moving house so that's quite a big exciting process which is going on and yeah just life kicks in sometimes i think with the videos it can often seem like all we do is just go ride each day but we're real people behind the camera or in front of the camera still and life has to continue and sometimes as much as i hate to you have to put the bike away and crack on with adult things especially now i'm 30 and got a wild new haircut we're at twisted oaks today joined by cara jack is with me We've got the new lines here, which I've been wanting to ride for such a long time. They look amazing, but we're also joined by a lot of wind. It's very breezy. So we'll see what's possible over there. And we're just gonna be out having a good day, having a good ride, not been here for a while. So let's get you on the GoPro and hit some laps. First place I've come is up to the new section, which is here. And as you can probably see on the windsock, it's blowing a hoolie out here today, which means I'm not gonna go too into detail because I really, really wanna do a proper video riding these and well showcasing these amazing jumps because they're they're actually a work of art the bike's just falling over in the wind but we're with jack today all right mate yeah we're good all good and uh he's on the all mountain i'm on the like we're just gonna have a little play see what's possible and do some trains and the first one we're gonna hit is blue jake and elwood um, i'm gonna follow jack down it and see what it's about because he's actually ridden this trail today more than i have ever so let's see what lines he's got on it all right get it jack let's see it We'll do the jump one, yeah? Yeah, yeah, of course. Here we go. Flowy corners and tables. So for beginners, this line is all you need, really. As you can see, it's got some flow to it. You. Look at that knee down there, Jack. You. Yeah, buddy, keep that speed. Oh, yes, we did it. That's actually well good, isn't it? What a line. We're now on the red line. There's basically this hip section at the bottom, which is absolutely insane, like BMX trails almost for big bikes. Nice steep lip, steep landing can carry speed, then a sick right hip there. So we're gonna ride it, and I'm gonna get Cara to capture the action. It's very windy. He did it, Jackaroo cleared it, which is sick. We'll give him a few goes to get used to that, and then we'll get a little train through the red from the top so you can see it. Ready, Jack? Yeah, man. Let's get it, show us your lines, mate. Yeah, boy. Dropping. Yeah. 
Yeah, boy, nice. Oh. Oh, that was sick. That was a good run, wasn't it? That was such a good run down there, Jack. Nice one. It's working good, isn't it? But now what we're going to do is give Jack the GoPro and he's going to follow me through that. And we picked a good time in the wind. It was completely dead then. So hopefully we can do that again. You ready then, Jackaroo? Let's do it. Let's get it, mate. I think follow it's me. just biting the bullet with the wind, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, that's it. the tire on the last one nice one jack thanks for the follow cam that was really good um you, jack has a problem because he's used to run jump bikes he keeps buzzing his backside on the tire there doesn't he and we all heard him at the end there say he's whole ass winning the wheel you can probably see <laughs> yeah look at that <laughs> different types of skid marks yeah. that is yeah that's the skid mark that's not so bad so windy on the jumps today which kind of sucks actually but it is what it is so we've resorted to warming up a little bit a cup of tea and Mate, he's got a cheeseburger on the go. So if you're here at Twisted, this little cafe is actually the dream. So we're going to have that before we get back to hitting some of the trails. We've made our way over to the dirt jump section now. And these are like small now compared to what's there. But we were just saying like they're super fun, especially a day like today when it's windy, because you don't really get affected on them. So we're going to have a little play here, see what lines we can link together. And Jack, don't know this yet, but he's going to lead first. Yeah. Holy mother! You! You went far on that one. I'm gonna go a different way now. There's like some steep trails ones. You should transfer there. And you can boost that one. Very nice. You! Racer. Yo! I've been trying to learn knack knacks on that jump i've been trying to learn knack knacks because i've never been able to do that trick it always does tail whips on me so for years i didn't bother i all of a sudden decided that's my goal and i've been practicing on the jump bike and this step up here is perfect for doing it on the e-bike so i'm gonna get jack to catch for me a slow motion knack knack and leave a score in the comments below if it's good then that's really good if it's bad then i know what i need to work on so you guys are the judges There we go then, I'm gonna give that about a four out of 10. Four is generous, maybe a three and a half. It's not great, but it's only a small jump and I'm just starting to understand the motion because like I say in the past, every time I do it, it just does like half a tail whip, which is obviously not what you wanna do. So it's about building confidence, knowing I can trust pushing the bike away from me while I'm stepping the other side of it. And then at that point, I can really bring my leg behind. It's a progress, I'll keep you updated because I don't actually really show progress too much except car stuff and we all go through it so yeah keep your eye out for massive knack knacks there we have it then what a session that has been unfortunately it's the winter the days are short now and picking our runs between wind has been time consuming so that is the end of the video but it feels so good to be back doing a youtube video checking in with you guys and just shredding i mean what can you not like about this right here right now we're going to be back two videos a week full time again back on it so keep your eye out leave some comments below let me know what you'd like to see this winter where we should ride who we should ride with let me know what you guys want to see and i'll make it happen if you enjoyed this one give us a thumbs up leave your comments down below and i will see you guys in the next video i'm like an addict do i gotta have it i ain't even playing got a really bad habit if it moves gotta grab it fuels like a magnet lose won't have it till i'm doomed in a casket I ain't playing, got a weird mind. If you work eight hours, I'ma work nine. If the shoot tastes sour, you should taste mine. I'ma stay in power for a long time. Get up, nah, I ain't a